Mexico's Attorney General's Office arrested one of the alleged perpetrators of what is known as the Fast and Furious Operation, which in 2009 allowed guns to be illegally trafficked into Mexico from the United States. Our correspondent Eduardo Martinez has the story. Arrested after running over and killing a woman in Mexico City, Facundo Rosas, former federal police commissioner, was transferred by members of the Mexican Navy to a federal prison in Hermosillo, Sonora, at the request of the Attorney General's Office of the Republic. The arrest warrant is related to his alleged responsibility and participation in the Fast and Furious operation in 2009, during the Felipe Calderon administration, allowed the entry of 2,500 weapons to Mexican territory from the United States. It was intended to be a covert police intelligence operation to track and understand the rationale behind the trafficking of arms across the U.S.-Mexico border and how these weapons ultimately found their way into the hands of organized crime. Rosas belonged to the closest circle of Genaro Garcia Luna, who was Secretary of Public Security and responsible for Calderon's strategy to fight drug trafficking. Garcia Luna is in prison and on trial in New York for his alleged link to the Sinaloa cartel. The enormous profits produced by the illicit arms trade fill the possibility that Mexican criminal organizations can source these weapons in the United States market and smuggle them into Mexico on an almost daily basis. There is a structural situation that is linked to geopolitics and the way in which the war on drugs has been waged in the hemisphere for the past 40 years. President Andrés Manuel López Obrador is referred to the former police commissioner's arrest. Instead of being something beneficial, it became a tragedy, because they used those weapons to murder people in Mexico and also to murder foreigners. The investigation remains open and presumably this individual participated in that group. Since the beginning of the López Obrador administration, Mexico has demanded its northern neighbor to stop illegal arms trafficking. We naturally believe that the availability of illegal weapons to organize crime is one of the factors that fuels the violence that unfortunately hurts Mexican society and that we no longer want to experience. Eleven U.S. companies are being sued for the sale, manufacture and distribution of these weapons, which fuel the smuggling associated with the violence and drug trafficking affecting the country, which in 2021 left a toll of almost 30,000 deaths. Eduardo Martinez, Telesur.